Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a new beauty try on as well as a check in and review on all of these. So a lot of new goodies and I can't wait to share them with you guys. And this is the final result. So if you want a mini tutorial slash review situation, let's get to the video. First things first, we know we have to clip back our hair otherwise it gets in the way. There it is now, it's not distracting. First thing I'm going to try out today is this Emberlease Laboratories Multifunction Nourishing Moisturizer. So this is kind of like an all-in-one product. It's a moisturizer, it's a makeup primer, it's also a moisturizing mask if you put it on thickly, and it's for all skin types. Really excited for this one because I've seen this all over the internet. I've just seen so many people use it and talk about it. It's made in France, it sounds really fancy, and yeah, let's give it a go. So here it is. It's kind of like this typical aluminum foil kind of packaging. It's like that toothpaste texture, so you can definitely wrinkle it. You have 75 mils of product in it, which I think is quite good. And I'm going to treat it like a makeup primer today and put it on half my face because I'm also trying a new foundation. So I want to see how that works together. It even looks like a toothpaste. You just have to poke it open with the lid. Oh, oh gosh, it's, it's seeping out. Oh my gosh. Yep, but here it is. Definitely a moisturizer consistency. It's not too thin. It's not seeping down or anything. So I like that about it. Let's just put some on the back of my hand. There we go. Pretty easy to blend out, I would say. And I'm going to just put this on half of my face. Just blending it out with my hands. Okay, I definitely overdid it. That's too much. It has a very herbal and medicinal scent to it. It's very subtle, so I don't think it's a massive deal, but it does smell kind of like mugwort, I would say. I do find the marketing for this just a little bit sneaky though, because technically any moisturizer can be used as a makeup primer. It's a little hack that I don't think people talk about enough. Primer essentially just wants your makeup to sit nicely on it, and moisturizer just coats your face and gives it more room to cushion onto. So you can actually just use moisturizer as a primer if you're on the go. So very sneaky and smart packaging on their side, but you can see once I blend it out, there isn't a real clear difference that you can see on my skin, except for this side is a little bit more, I would say, dewy and reflective than this side, but it's not a massive difference. So hopefully I can see some differences in my foundation review. Next up, like I alluded to earlier, we're trying out a new foundation. This one's from Amuse. This is the Amuse Dew Jelly Vegan Cushion and has SPF 38. You have 15 grams of product in here and it's this very minimalistic beige packaging. Amuse is a Korean brand that I feel like is quite high-end almost. It's constantly promoted by K-pop stars. I know Red Velvet Sugi is always promoting it and she's the ambassador. So I'm really excited for this. I've seen some great reviews and yeah, let's put it on our face. Here it is. It is massive, the packaging. Uh, it's really, really heavy and nice. It's this heavy duty plastic. And again, you have the Amuse logo on here. I picked out the shade Nude 02, which I think is the darkest shade. It doesn't look very dark to me, but here it is. You have a mirror, you have a nice little cushion and I already peeled the packaging inside, but this is your cushion with your foundation inside one thing to note that it's not like one of those typical nets in cushion foundation it's almost like it's just a cloth i don't know how you explain it but if you look properly it's very hard to see the mesh inside it nice and coated as always i like to just pat some on the lid just so i don't get too much and it doesn't look even on my face I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I'm not really applying much to my face. It just feels very, very light. Like I can't see it clearly on my face and I know I've patted something on, but the coverage is very, very light. Okay, looking at my phone camera, it does look like I applied it all in my face and even out my skin tone. Subtly, if I just draw back my mirror a little bit more, it does look like I gave my skin a very even tone and look, but when I was applying it, I couldn't really see it on. It just melted into my skin, which I guess is a good thing, but you know, I would say it's definitely light to medium coverage. I can still see some of the redness on my nose and definitely the dark circles under my eyes, but overall it did even out my skin tone. And I don't think it's a bad match for me. 
think it's okay just a little bit on the lighter side but again this foundation is definitely glowy and natural makeup vibes you get the sunscreen so definitely it's a little bit more on the dewy side you can also see there's not a massive difference uh, with if I put primer or not. I think maybe it will work well with long lasting. We'll test that later. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on because I want to cover some of my areas. I think this is very nice for complexion. Now I'm going to just quickly set the face with my NARS translucent powder. This is in crystal and we already know. Let's get rid of this little powder puff. I hate it when brands come out with like these applicators that are essentially useless and a little like um, applicator things for eyeshadow. I don't really like it. This one is just flimsy. I pay for it. It's part of the packaging. I'm keeping it. I just use it to prevent dust. Sorry, there's construction work going around in my house, so it's a bit loud. I paired it with a powder puff and I really like applying it this way. I think it's much more efficient than using a brush. Can we see the instant mattification? It looks gorgeous. And it's still a skin-like finish. It has some mini crystals in it, which makes it still quite glowy, which I really love. Now, another exciting product I'm trying out is a new blush from Charlotte Tilbury. This is not a new blush as a release time, but this is a new formula for me to out. This is a cheek to cheek in the iconic Hello Talk. It is absolutely gorgeous and when I swatched it in stores, I wanted to have it so bad. It's this really beautiful mix of beige rose tones and it has the most gorgeous pink highlighter in the middle. I just love it and this packaging is just gorgeous. I love the quilting on it. I think I'll just keep it. This is the swish and glow. So you have a blush on the outer perimeters and you also have a highlighter. I think it's a really nice kind of two-in-one product. Okay, here it is. <gasps> It's so pretty. It looks very dark in the pan, but it's a sheer buildable coverage. So you can definitely get into something more wearable. And I'm going to let my inner thoughts intrude for a while, but doesn't that kind of look like a boob? <laughs> when I first saw this blush, when I saw it like in stores ever or online, I was like, Ooh, this is so ugly. I don't want to have a boob blush. It just, you know, like, oh, the packaging, I really couldn't stand it at first. I was like, nah. No way am I buying it. It's too ugly. And uh, I just kept on seeing reviews online and swatches and I tried it in stores and it's just gorgeous. So I caved. But yeah, the packaging still gets me laughing sometimes. So, you know, it is what it is. But <laughs> I just think it's really funny. But yes, yeah, so we're going to put this onto our face and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. So what I like to do is I like to kind of just take a big fluffy brush and just sweep it on the outer perimeters. And then what I'm going to do is just dust wherever I want to put my blush very lightly kind of swirling motions because I did set my face and this is just a really nice big fluffy brush from Mecca this is an all over palette brush it's just a perfect density I like to also brush it against my eyes I think that gives my eyes some warmth and connects everything together how pretty is that color and right it's not too dark you can definitely build it up now we're going to take the highlighter on the inner rim it's not a completely transparent highlighter as well it has some pink and champagne tones to it so we're just going to dab 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 and inevitably we're going to get some of the blush on here which is why I really like just applying over top of all my blushes and whatever is remaining, just like to brush it up to my forehead. I love how this makes my cheeks look. It's just gorgeous. Really love it. And yeah, I think this is worth the hype formula wise. It's a little bit expensive, but I definitely think it is worth um, investing in, especially if you love the color story. Moving on, another product I am trying out today is a new clear eyeshadow palette. This is the Clear Pro Eye Palette, which I love so much. And this is in the shade 15 Spring Sunshine on Canvas. And this is one of the newer packaging by Clear. If you remember, they used to have the little plastic ones, but now they kind of make it into a heavy duty completely transparent plastic it used to have like a rim and border around it but this is a beautiful coral palette and i think it is so nice and fitting for the summer and spring which we're heading into right now i love this color story you have a mixture of mattes matte shimmers glitters toppers just 
everything. I'm so excited with it. I already swatched it. So I know I love the color story and it's really, really fun. You no longer get the mirror on top, but honestly, I really like how simplistic this packaging is. It looks more sophisticated and the brush does look like it's higher quality as well. But yes, let's play around with this palette today. I'm going to start by setting my eyes with this base shade because it's the closest to my skin tone and I think it'll be really nice just as an all over shade. Using a fluffy brush, blend it all over the lid so we have something to work with later on. Now I'm going to use the little brush they gave me. I think it's not too bad. I'm just going to take this cool tone brown map, tracing it all over the bottom lid, like so. And then using the earlier brush just to blend everything together. Now I'm going to play a little bit more with the coral tones in here. And I'm going to actually take this kind of berry shade and place it on the inner and outer corners on my eyes to give it more of a halo eye effect. It's kind of this cool toned berry shade, which I think is very neutral, but also a pop of color. Same thing, blend, blend, blend. What I love about Clear's matte eyeshadows is that it is so easy to blend out and buff, and it's like this light, buildable coverage, so you really can just work with whatever coverage and pigmentation you want. It's just a gorgeous formula. Perfect for beginners and makeup lovers. Now we're going to use the matte with shimmer next to the berry shade we just used and put that across the lower lash line. Make sure to connect with the top of the lids and blend everything out. Now that we got the base, it's time to highlight our eyes. First, I'm going to take this white shimmer shade and just highlight the inner corners. Tilt your eyes up and you can see that these are the lights in your eyes and I'm going to just put it over the top of it. Oh, this is a beautiful white gold. Look at that. I think for today, I don't want to use the chunkiest big glitter. I'm just going to use the more subtle pink one. Oh my gosh, honestly, this is still super stunning and reflective. K-Beauty just knows how to make good glitters. Just going to put a little bit of the white gold shimmer on the inner corners to highlight and that's it for my eyes. I lied, I'm also going to put a little bit of the darkest brown as a subtle eyeliner because I don't want to use actual eyeliner today. I'll quickly curl my lashes and put on some mascara, do my brows real quick, and I'll come back for the last product we're trying out today. The sun has unfortunately set, so the lighting kind of sucks right now, but the last product we are trying out is a lip tint. Well, it's not really trying out a new formula because I already know I love it. This is the Roman Juicy Lasting Tint, and I got this in the shade Pomelo Skin. It's a very beautiful, natural, my lips are better situation, and I can't wait to put it on my lips. I think it'll match this look so well. It has that same beautiful candied apple scent to it and really beautiful and glossy. This one's more nude than I expected actually, some opacity to it. It's a bit of a milk tea shade I would say, very beige with a little bit of pink to it, but it's perfectly neutral for every day. Now to finish everything off, I'm going to spritz a little bit of perfume on. This is not a new perfume, but this is something I've been loving a lot lately. This is Idol by Lancome. It's this beautiful fruity rose scent and it has this juicy pear in it which i really enjoy and the rose really is this soft pink rose this is just perfect for spring and i've been using it a lot lately all right guys well that's it for our makeup try on i'm going to actually do a little bit of a check-in later on so this is not the end of the video i want to see how everything lasts and give a detailed report but for now i really love how the makeup has come together i really like how everything just blends and this color scheme is working for me i think it's very cute and gorgeous for every single day and just wanted to report for my lashes i actually use a combination of the ColourPop act natural defining on the top and the Peri Peri Ink Black Hour Clear Set on the lower lashes. I wanted it to be all about the eye makeup. I didn't want the lashes to stand out. And for brows, good old favorite L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist. Just love this brow gel. I'm almost out of it and I'm really excited for it to be an empty. And also, I can't really tell a clear difference with primer and without primer, but let's see the wearability and yeah, we'll do a check-in later. See you guys soon. Hey guys, this is checkup number one. It has been around five hours since I applied this. I applied it around nine o'clock in the morning. Now it is two o'clock. And yeah, let's just do a quick checkup. I already had lunch. So the lipstick, lip tint is almost gone. And the mouth area foundation is almost gone as well. You can see here, my pimple scar is showing up as well. And there's definitely some texture going on. But again, I think it's because of the lighting. It's different uh, from this morning. So you can see, definitely see more texture on the skin 
and yep around the nose it's gathering a tiny bit but i don't think it's a big deal i actually think the foundation looks pretty darn good i think it looks like it's pretty much stayed on my face and i i actually think it's holding up pretty nicely as well um the same palette definitely helped but overall i don't think there is a much bigger difference versus like Actually, now on camera, I do feel like the primer side looks a little nicer in this area as compared to here. Like the bumps are showing a little bit, whereas here it's flatter. But yeah, this coverage is almost gone. We can see some of the like, nose scars, etc. The blush is holding up really nicely. I love the little highlight. It's still shining through. Lip tint, obviously, is going to be gone. I was eating a lot and it was oily food, things like that. But check up number one is finished and i'll see you guys in a few more hours hey guys final check-in it has been seven hours since i first started wearing this full base of makeup it's been very cloudy today so the sunlight kind of is a little bit lacking but wanted to report on foundation lippy eyes etc and all that jazz you can't really tell a big difference between no primer and primer in my opinion so i think that didn't really add too much because the cushion foundation itself is quite moisturizing and hydrating it's also very light I think it's one of those you can't really build up the coverage but it's great for evening out your skin tone so i do like that and honestly it's wearing okay i think it's not too bad and um yeah i can't really see it like transferring off my face the blush is holding up pretty nicely pigment's still there didn't feel muddy at all the eyeliner kind of you know smudged a little bit from my eyeshadow but it's because when i close my eyes and blink it really just like touches with each other so that's on my eye shapes problem and yeah honestly pretty good lippy i reapplied it just for this check-in apart from that it was basically gone and i think this shaded because it's a my lips are better it's very nude it's very natural so even the tint isn't too strong but i think it's really cute i love this formula check out my original roman ranking video um this is my favorite lip formula from them but yeah this is a really cute look i really enjoyed it and i think yeah held up pretty nicely do you think the foundation is meh it's not my favorite the primer is quite nice i think the moisturizer it will be really good just like as an everyday kind of moisturizer situation i love the eyeshadow it's beautiful and blingy and it's wearing pretty nicely lippy gorgeous as always and cheeks it's an obvious yes from me well guys that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it because as always i love these type of videos they're just so fun for me to make and yeah i really found some new hidden gems here and ones that i will be keep on reaching for as well as i tried some of the products that i know are tried and true but in new shades and a little bit of a new formula packaging etc so i'm talking about my clear and roman these are a newer packaging situation but love them as usual and yeah really really excited to try on new products and always doing reviews for you guys to see what is worth it what is not and as always if you did like today's video please give a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel and let me know what type of videos you would like to see in the future or what products you would like me to review for you guys but aside from that that is it for today and i'll see you guys in the next one